Are you tired of using flimsy stuff like this for your seed starting? If you want to use less plastic, this is the video for you. Let me show you how. Hi, my name is Kristen and I'm with Shifting Roots. I help gardeners grow vegetables and flowers with ease, especially if you live in a northern cold climate with a short growing season. If you live in a climate similar to I do, you definitely want to hit that like and subscribe button. Every day on Instagram and Facebook, I share exactly what I'm doing in my garden in real time. So you can follow me there and make sure you don't miss a single thing. Today we're going to make some paper pots. I'm also going to answer some questions that new gardeners or those that are new to making these paper pots out of newspaper um, commonly have. So let's dig in. So when do I use paper pots? Well, the first reason is for larger vegetables like these artichokes and Brussels sprouts that are gonna take a little bit longer. I know that my artichokes and my Brussels sprouts are gonna get so big that these little containers and the average cells that I have are just not gonna cut it. So I like to use these paper pots instead. The other advantage of using the paper pots is if you have a specific flower or vegetable that doesn't like its roots disturbed, say for example poppies, then I will plant them in these paper pots as well and they work super slick. People often ask if these are truly compostable and I can say without a doubt, yes. Just check out this photo over here. This was from a pepper plant that I had planted in these newsprint pots and then at the end of the season I ripped out the plant and this was all that was left of the newspaper. Pretty cool, eh? Okay, so let's actually show you how to make the pot. It's so easy and once you get the hang of it, you will be absolutely addicted to them. First thing you need is a jar. So this jar here has nice straight sides. You don't want anything that's tapered. Generally with jars, they're not going to be tapered, but say if you were using a glass instead, you just wanna look for something that has straight edges. I do them in two sizes. I have a larger size like this, and then I also have a smaller size like this. I'm gonna do the larger size for this video. Next thing you'll need is some newsprint and scissors. So if you're using this regular size of newsprint, you're going to want to cut it into equal thirds. I find that's what works best for me. Once you do that, you're left with approximately three even sheets to make your paper pots from. So we don't need all of these, so we'll just put them to the side. I'll take one of them, spread it out, grab my jar, measure it out. Now the key is to loosely roll these on. If you roll it too tight up against the jar, it's gonna get really stuck and you will be very frustrated. Once you've got that done, you're gonna push in the ends like so, and then pop out the jar. And there you have it, one paper pot and your jar to use again. Now people often wonder with the bottom of these paper pots if these actually will hold up or if they'll just all fall apart. And basically as long as the pot is dry, it will stay in. So I have this pot which I put some soil in. You can see here's the soil in it. I'm going like this, no soil is falling out. It's totally fine. Okay, so then the next step after we make this paper pot is to transplant our plants. So I'm gonna grab these artichokes. I have two growing in one cell here. So just carefully pop those out. They're having really nice root growth here. I'm gonna gently split them apart. And really, as long as you're gentle, sure there might be a little bit of tearing of the roots, but your plant will be okay. Just set them down. I'm gonna grab my potting soil. Dig in a little space for the plant. Grab the plant. Put an artichoke in there. And then I'll just top that up with a little 
little bit more potting soil. And it's done. And it's just that simple. Now, if you want, you can roll over the edges, but I can tell you from experience, this step of rolling over the edges is completely unnecessary. It will stay together. This is just if you like that particular aesthetic look. There we go. All right, and that's simply all there is to it. common questions that everybody asks me that I haven't already addressed. First off, do they decompose? Yes, they absolutely decompose. I'll just show you that picture one more time. So rest assured, these are going to be completely gone when you plant in them. Next question, do you just plop these into the ground or do you have to break them open? You simply plop them into the ground, dig the hole, make sure there's a little bit of extra space so that you can put in the soil around it. And really, truly, it is just that easy. Third question, how do you water them? Like you would any other plant. What I like to do is get those empty croissant type containers or some sort of plastic thing like what comes on top of, say, if you would buy a big birthday cake, there's always that plastic dome on top. Just reuse and repurpose whatever you have in your house, set them in there, and then you can bottom water them. Just, um, you can also top water them too, but I prefer to bottom water. Another thing you might not know is that the roots will actually start to grow out of the paper, and that is completely fine. Don't worry about it at all. As long as you're not drying out your plants, the roots will be completely fine. Next question, can you use other materials? Yes, as long as it's paper. You could use printing paper, you could use paper bags, you could use craft paper. It's all fine, it's all gonna decompose. Next question, do I need a fancy tool? No, you absolutely do not. Glasses and jars are completely sufficient. I don't think that fancy tool, like I use the wooden handle and the nicely shaped thing, it's beautiful, but you really don't need to waste your money on it if you don't want to. And if you want to, that is cool. All right, another question I often get asked, what about the inks in the paper? So while it's true, it's probably better to just use the black and white ink in the paper and not the colored paper. My opinion is that probably whatever transfer of chemicals is so minuscule that I think it would be fine. Um, probably there's way more chemicals in our soil that we would like to admit, especially if you're just in a city garden. But again, it's just a matter of personal preference and your conscience. So if you really feel strongly against the colored ink and think it's a terrible idea, then I really encourage you to maybe use some paper, like scrap paper that's maybe only been printed on with in pen or use the craft paper or paper bags instead. And last question, do you need to fold the top? Nope, as I already said before, it's completely for aesthetics and your stuff will be completely fine and it will not fall apart. The only way that it's gonna fall apart is if you have freshly watered your newsprint pots and then you're trying to lift them up and take them out, then it will totally fall apart and it'll be a great big giant mess. So whenever you do decide to plant these up outside, what I suggest is making them dry out a little bit. They don't have to be completely dry, but dry enough that you can handle them. If you try and pick it up and you can feel like the paper starting to give, it's not dry enough. So you're gonna have to wait.
So I hope this content has been helpful for you. I have tons more on seed starting on my channel. I will link to the playlist down below and also at the end of this video. Again, if you're also in a cold climate with a short growing season, I would love to have you subscribe as well as join me on Instagram or Facebook where I share exactly what I'm doing in real time every day. And if you live in a similar climate, that means you'll know exactly what to do when and you won't miss out on anything. All right, have a great day. Bye-bye. We'll see you in the next video.